What is up guys, it's me, Vic723, with some more Call of Duty Ghost, the second instalment of Team Random Weapons. This was going to be Team Riot Shield, but I'm serious guys, I said this in the first episode and I'll say it again. Oh my god, it's so difficult. I'd say probably eight hours so far have been put into attempting that gameplay. Not one win, not even one. I had uh, two wins where I did pretty well, it was like around 19 and 15, my kill death spread, but those games we lost, so I'm kind of holding off posting those, so instead we have some Team Chainsaw for you guys, and uh, as I said in my uh, Chainsaw little setup video killing stuff, it is probably one of my favourite weapons in the game, just because it's something a tiny bit different, you know, it's, it's probably one of the... Uh, one of the small innovations that this game actually has. Otherwise, it's very similar to previous games and it's missing a few game modes that I love. So uh, hopefully we'll get those soon. I mean, next gen is not far away. It is really not. We've got the PS4 coming out very soon in the uh, US in a few days and uh, quite a while in the UK, but hopefully I'll be able to get one before then. And then the uh, Xbox One is about a week and a half. I will be getting both consoles and playing on them both. And uh, more than likely, I will be playing on uh, the Xbox One because more of my friends will have that system. So yeah, all around next gens are going to be good. We're going to be getting Ground War for Call of Duty Ghost, so that should bring a bit of fun back in. I've been trying to get some throwing knife montage clips for Bullseye V4, which I'm working on. And after hours and hours of playing, nothing yet, I know. I'm hoping it's just people, you know, really trying to rank up at this point and I'll have a little more luck later on in the game. But um, again, you just die so fast on this game. It makes everything I'm trying to do so difficult. You know, the team random weapons, team throwing knife, throwing knife montages. It's, uh, it's like playing hardcore. I mean, we spent ages attempting hardcore team tomahawk, hardcore team throwing knife and never managed to get any of those. And that's what this game feels like right now. So uh, with a bit of luck and a bit of time, hopefully we'll get into the flow of that. I mean, Christmas isn't too far away. Give me some Christmas noobs. In fact, I'm probably not going to get many because I'll be on the new consoles. The old ones will be where the Christmas noobs are. Getting, getting, uh, getting the late game for that Christmas present and then getting destroyed online. But anyway, on the topic of next gen consoles, honestly, I would say that Call of Duty is a current gen game. When you play it on PC, it's almost a port of the game on Xbox 360. And on next gen consoles, from what I've seen and heard, it's going to be the same sort of idea. Obviously, improved graphics. However, you know, overall, it's still the same game. There's nothing game changing. The game that I think is going to be huge on next gen is Battlefield 4 because that is truly a next gen game. You can't play that on a 360 and PS4 and uh, get the same experience. Sorry, PS. 360 and PS3 and have the same experience. PC has always been way ahead for Battlefield and. Uh, I guess with next gens, they're catching up to that. 64 players, you know, the graphics, the destruction, that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing that game a lot as well. And uh, hopefully you guys will be interested in checking that out as well. Hopefully there'll be a bit of a pace increase as well. I felt like Battlefield uh, 3 was a little bit slower on a console than a PC. Obviously, you've got the player caps and less vehicles and less destruction, that kind of stuff. But hopefully, well, I say hopefully, there is going to be a step up in that from what I've played so far. And hopefully that will be a fun game to play online on the next gen consoles. So realistically, we've all got something to look forward to. And something that I'm looking forward to and hoping for for this game is the addition of new modes down the line because that is something Infinity Ward has done. It's something they did with Modern Warfare 3. They added in all or nothing. They added in free for all gunplay with all that kind of stuff, one in the chamber, that sort of stuff online. They also added in the whole chaos mode, which was crazy. I'm thinking, why didn't they just ship this game with chaos mode as well as extinction? Because I felt chaos mode had more replayability than extinction mode has. You know, extinction mode is the kind of thing you do once, twice, three times, you complete it, then you're done. It's not something like zombies because there's an end point. There's an end end point. You know, if you want to make something fun and replayable in a kind of survival setting, don't 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 give it an end point or, or at least make a variant of it that has no end point. But you know, that's just my two cents on the matter. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this stuff that has been discussed in the comment section below. This game, we actually managed to crush the enemy team, but it took quite a while to uh, actually get to a position where we could do that. I actually found the silencer really useful. It does nerf damage a lot on this game, but I really like it for playing aggressively. Anyway, that is it 
for the video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topics discussed in the comment section below. Don't worry about the Google Plus stuff. I'm sure it will sort itself out eventually. 19 and 3. Here's an outro with other random weapon gameplays. Well, just one has been posted prior to this, but there will be many more to follow. So check them out, and I'll see you soon.